On World Press Freedom Day, we shine a spotlight on the essential work of journalists and other media workers who seek transparency and accountability from those in power, often at great personal risk. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, many media workers have been on the front lines, providing accurate science-based reporting to inform decision makers and save lives. At the same time, journalists who cover climate, biodiversity and pollution have succeeded in bringing global attention to this triple planetary crisis. But the threats to the freedom of journalists and media workers are growing by the day. From global health to the climate crisis, corruption and human rights abuses, they face increased politicization of their work and attempts to silence them from many sides. Digital technology has democratized access to information, but it has also created serious challenges. The business model of many social media platforms are based not on increasing access to accurate reporting, but on increasing engagement, which often means provoking outrage and spreading lies. Media workers in war zones are threatened not only by bombs and bullets, but by the weapons of falsification and disinformation that accompany modern warfare. They may be attacked as the enemy, accused of espionage, detained or killed, simply for doing their jobs. This technology also makes censorship even easier. Many journalists and editors around the world are at constant risk of their programs and reports being taken offline. And digital technology creates new channels for oppression and abuse. Women journalists are at particular risk of online harassment and violence. UNESCO found that nearly three in four women respondents had experienced online violence. Hacking and illegal surveillance also prevent journalists from doing their jobs. The methods and tools change, but the goal of discrediting the media and covering up the truth remains the same as ever. And the results are also the same. People and societies that are unable to distinguish fact from fiction and can be manipulating in horrifying ways. Without freedom of the press, there are no real democratic societies. Without freedom of the press, there is no freedom. The United Nations is working to support journalists and media workers everywhere. Ten years ago, we established a plan of action on the safety of journalists to protect media workers and end the impunity for crimes committed against them. On World Press Freedom Day, we honor the essential work of the media in speaking truth to power, exposing lies, and building strong, resilient institutions and societies. We call on governments, media organizations, and technology companies everywhere to support these crucial efforts. Thank you.